What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And we got another video by offending everybody on how to fix America. Now, oops, sorry. Got clicked in my headphones and such. But yeah, hey, with the whole thing with election that's going on right now, <laughs> where it's not even mostly being about political anymore. It's outright just entertainment. Hey, if we're gonna be, we need to, if at this point we're gonna be doomed as a nation if we don't figure out what the frick we're gonna do. So, hey, let's see what offending everybody has to say about this because he has ways of how we can fix America. So, let's hear from him. So, we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow him on socials up there. And without further ado, Let's get into this. Quit it! Quit it! America has some major problems right now. Mm -hmm. So here are 10 ways to fix America. America. Number one, ban ugly babies. Every guy's nightmare is hearing, I'm pregnant. And the only thing worse is being preggers with tism face. What is that, a demon? Get your hell spawn away from me, Becky. It's loud, stupid, and hurts to look at. So why would I want to hold it? I want to spike it, possibly pale it to a ceiling fan, but hold? Whoa! Look, everyone deserves a second chance. And we should give mothers a second chance not to bake a potato. So how do we solve it? Well, we all love dogs, right? Yeah. We all know there's a lot of hungry dogs out sure. there. Okay. Okay, I think some of you see where I'm going with this. Now, before you call child services, or PETA, hear me out. This isn't about cruelty, okay? It's about sustainability. Think of it like recycling with a more immediate impact on our happiness. We can call it cradle to the kennel. No more forgetting your stroller outside Chris's house. Just take a little bit. He knows how to. Sorry, let me sign my phone real quick. Well, man, oh man. Does he know how to freaking hit the nail on the head when it comes to that dark comedy. Yeah, I think some of you see where I'm going with this. Now, before you call child services, or PETA, hear me out. This isn't about cruelty, okay? It's about sustainability. Think of it like recycling with a more immediate Yo. impact on our happiness. We can call it cradle to the kennel. No more forgetting your stroller outside Chris's house. Just take little Billy down to the shelter and Kobe him in the nearest deep fryer. That free throw might make you sad, but that trophy will make you forget. So let's start turning little nightmares into happy meals. Number two, pain for kitty. Men are monsters. We all have this built-in rage meter that spikes with every sus joke. Pork and helps relax us. No guy's ever gotten a blow in his like, oh. Oh, oh, maybe we should nuke Iran. Besides, Wait, what, what really is prostitution? Corn is legal. Why? Because you have a camera and make him sign a best be on a pill contract. Gold digging is legal. Al Pacino recently became a father at age 83 with his girlfriend who's 29. That's and that's crazy. And mother... And he still don't think that's not gold digging? If you don't think that's gold digging, I don't care what you say. You can say, oh, well, maybe he's just really that way up well i'm just saying and look you can look at it from both gen both directions both ways if you're something that's if you're like as uh, old as you are and you're young as hell if you're 70 and you're 29 going on 30 40 year gap right there sheesh that's just gold digging right there i'm sorry but it is <laughs> you cannot tell me that ain't gold digging Constitution. Corn is legal. Why? Because you have a camera and make him sign a best be on a pill contract. Gold digging is legal. Al Pacino recently became a father at age 83 with his girlfriend who's 29. That's a 54 year age gap. Mm. Now, sure, maybe she gets turned on by playing jump rope with his old man balls, or maybe she's looking for a little financial security. Either way, they're both consenting adults who deserve to trade jet skis for blowies. Number three, homeless guinea pig. We have a massive homeless problem right now. But unless it's getting handies for meth, what job can a homeless person do? Simple human guinea pig. Right now, we test drugs on mice who share about. And it, that's kind of effed up, though. Now, if it was pedophiles, now PDF files, now, hey, cause I saw a TikTok where this J, this TikToker named JD Delay, JD Delay, something. Like, I'm pretty sure that was his name, but hey. He has an I he I remember seeing a video of him he saying about how he saw this old prison and such where it's so dangerous that motherfucker 
that the prisoners who's there they get used to get they be used for like guinea pigs for like test subjects or whatnot for like tests or experiments or whatever and he's saying that why not we just reopen that up and I'm pretty sure it was what in Russia or so I could be wrong but he's saying about how we should reopen that up and put all the chomos that's what prisoners call pedo call PDF files call pedophiles and so a pedo put them in there and let them, and hey to be honest with me I don't see nothing wrong with that and if you say something is wrong with that something's wrong with you for always. Number three, homeless guinea pig. We have a massive homeless problem right now, and this crisis can be solved if they just had a job. But unless it's getting handies for meth, what job can a homeless person do? Simple, human guinea pig. Right now, we test drugs on mice who share about 97.5% of our DNA, but that 2.5% could be a herpes side effect. That's why homeless people should test drugs before us normies take them. And I'm not saying we force them, I'm saying we encourage. Go up to one and be like, hey, so I have this pill that may or may not give you heart palpitations, but I also have $120, hmm? Hmm? That way regular people get safe drugs and the homeless get my cruelty. Number four, we need to exterminate deer. And this one's personal because deer killed my mom. I mean, technically she OD'd, but I like to think deer were on her mind at the time. Point is, deer cause 60 to 70,000 auto accidents a year. And yes. And that's a crazy thing. Think about that. Most of the times with these accidents that be with animals, it beat these damned like nigga. How many times have we, I guarantee you, y'all probably out there, if you have seen many times where, whether it's on, whether it's on the internet or in real life, have you seen a deer always come across and it's always going to get auto crash and such? How many times do you see that? Because I guarantee you, that be the most common one. If, and if it's not a deer, it's some other animal. But it mostly be the deers and such. So, hey, all I'm saying is, don't go, don't be driving in the woods, or not even that. Don't drive along a highway that has woods, or a road where it has the forest and such. Cause nine times out of ten, it gonna be with them damn deers. All right. Need to I just hit for them. And this one's personal, cause the deer killed my mom. I mean, technically she OD'd, but I like to think deer were on her mind at the time. Point Yo. is, deer cause 60 to 70,000 auto accidents a year. And yes, that number has to be inflated. Because if you hit someone with your car, the first thing you're blaming it on is the deer. For the last time, it wasn't Billy, it was Bambi! Oh, the deer are so cute. Yeah, when I push them downstairs, legs okay. just flailing everywhere as I'm licking my lips, knowing that meat is about to be tender. Now, some of you may not be on board with exterminating them, but what about relocate? Like, we could take all the ones from the wild and put them in a place where they wouldn't get distracted. Like some sort of concentration camp. That way, the road stays safe and deer get what's coming to them number five public <laughs> he just pushes the line every single time goddamn the minute he said consecration camp i should have known what he that's quick hey i should have put a i should have put a warning on this saying if you're if you can't take some of these jokes these dark jokes Skip my s s please watch other videos of mine. Concentration camp. That way the road stays safe and deer get what's coming to them. Number five, public humiliation. We need to bring back public ridicule, and I got the perfect solution. This oh, is yeah. a pillow. Back in the day, whenever someone was a huge d we throw them in this nifty little device. Imagine walking down the street and seeing Kanye stuck in one of these. Be like Not Kanye. But then again. <laughs> He, look, you don't even have, honest to God, and I've even said this before on my, I've said this before to myself. With all due respect to Kanye and what he's done with hip-hop over the years, being influential and all, helped to put in new sounds and such into hip-hop, and it's a business, man. nine times out of ten, this man needs to be stopped, because... He too crazy for his mental ain't really well. We always know his mental ain't there. And plus, with the uh, vultures too that he dropped and such, a lot. Of, I haven't listened to the album, but from what I'm hearing from a lot of people, 
it was ass. Well, you let me know if, in the comments below if the if Vultures 2, in your opinion, was ass or not. You let me know. But Kanye needs to just be. Stop. Like you're walking down the street and seeing Kanye stuck in the news. You're like, hey, Yeezy. I guess you're high fives for f***ing comments and consequences after all. Hey, be a doll and take a picture of my Jewish cousin. Everyone say karma. 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 Because he was on those t his anti-Semitic jokes and such that got him kicked out of, what was it, Nike or so? Yeah, so, hey, that's what. And it's so crazy. Really think about that. The, the one community that if you ever try to really go too far with, be the same. Hey. He needs to know when to shut up. That's what I'm saying. He needs to know when to shut the fuck up. But, hey. After all, hey, be a doll and take a picture of my Jewish cousin. Everyone say karma. 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 Number six, drugs? <laughs> Why are some drugs illegal? Seriously, because some are bad for you? So are cheeseburgers. Yet I don't see any fatties getting tackled at McDonald's. And heart disease is the number one killer in America. So if we're going purely off deaths, then Big Macs are worse than heroin. And some illegal drugs have health benefits. Psilocybin can help with depression. THC can help reduce PTSD triggers. And fentanyl can help anyone under 5'7 finally be happy. So how about we just legalize it all, let natural selection do the rest? Because uh, in my America, everyone deserves a quarter pounder and a quarter ounce. Number seven, sell me your parts. No matter how poor you are hey yo, we ain't on that. Bl you ain't not finna sell my candy. Uh uh. <laughs> no, I don't agree with that one whatsoever. You not finna sell my body parts. Uh uh. I'm keeping my body parts. Pounder and a quarter rounds. Number seven, sell me your parts. No matter how poor you are, everyone's sitting on a pile of cash. Do you have any idea how much your organs are worth? You could trade bone marrow for a new Camaro, a ball to a trip to Nepal, a kidney for a wedding at Disney, or literally an eye for an iPhone. I mean, you can already sign up to be an organ. I gotta say, he be rhyming for certain times when he doing his his stick, he be rhyming his shit soft. Like, listen to that rhyming right here. Hold up. Even though it's dark, but it's still fire rap fire like rapping and such like listen to his rhyming right here no matter how poor you are everyone's sitting on a pile of cash do you have any idea how much you're like, listen to rhyming you could trade bone camaro. marrow for a new camaro camaro. a ball to a trip to nepal a kidney for a wedding at disney mm. or literally an eye for an iphone mm. i mean you can already sign up to be an organ donor why is it illegal to turn to a side hustle and both sides of the aisle should be together on this one conservatives don't want the government to tell them what to do and liberals are poor it's a win-win for everyone also side note if you're an organ donor and decide to wrestle a bear is that a suicide attempt or a charity event because I'm pretty sure there'd be some sick kids in the front row rooting for the bear. Number eight, trans people need to relax. Most people don't- And boy, nigga, that should be one shit. <laughs> hey, that one right there, though. That one? Look, I ain't trans- I ain't no transphobic. I don't hate no trans people. Hey, there are some- there are certain ones- there are some- trans people out there in the world that are just trying to live their life without trying to cause any drama or concept any type of craziness they're just actually normal people they're just trying to be normal they're trying to just live their life and hey I'll rock with a trans person not meaning I won't date one I won't date a trans person but if you want to be a friend cool I am no problem with that Cause you, that doesn't make me transphobic to say I don't want to date a trans person. I'll be friends with one, but I won't want to date one. That's not me being transphobic because that's me being respectable and saying what my preference is. I like real biological women. But that's not going to stop me from saying I can't be friends with one. Because think about how crazy that is. People would say it's transphobic of you not to date a trans person. And hell. Other trans people don't want to date other trans people. So what does that make them? Hmm? If other trans people don't want to date other trans people, what does that make them? Because you can't say it's transphobic because they're trans themselves. So, hey, for all them people, for all them crazy trans out there, them crazy trans people out there, hey, like he said, y'all need to relax. 
is in the front row rooting for the bear. Number eight, trans people to relax. To relax. Most people don't give a shit what you do with your body. Exactly, you I really don't. your eggplant and change your name from Steve to say Steve, go ahead. You should be able to do whatever you want with your body, and I should be able to call you whatever name I want. It's America. If I want to call you Mr. Poopy Face, then that's my right. No one can tell me I can't call Facts. them Mr. or Mrs. Poopy Facts. Face. Well, maybe except black people. The point is, if someone calls you the wrong name or pronoun, then that's their right. Exactly. Same way as your biological decisions are your right. You see? That's a quality right. Exactly. Thing. But some don't try to. If I want to call you by what, if I want to call you how I want to call you, that's how I'm gonna call you. Not because you to, just because I don't call you by your thing, because you want me to. That's not me being transphobic or that's not me being hateful. That's me how I want to call you. Hey, like you said. You have the right to want to do whatever you want with your body, and I have the right to call you what I want to call you. Not because you told me. So the fact that if you're going to get triggered by me not saying your actual pronouns and such, and the fact that you don't, and even with the pronouns thing, I've said it before. If you're going to come with me with respect, respect is a two-way thing. You can't, you can't say that you want respect and then show me disrespect. How does that work? Hmm? How does that work? You can't say you're gonna want this. You don't. You can't say that you want respect. You want people to respect you and love you for who you are, when you're gonna disrespect somebody else, just because you're not getting your way. Nah, they ain't going down like that. Cause if you're gonna disrespect me, why should I respect you then? If you're not showing the respect one, if you're not reciprocating the respect, if I showed you respect and then you're going to disrespect me, why should I respect you then if you're going to disrespect me? Nah. So, yeah, that's why I say y'all need to relax. They're right. The same way as your biological decisions are your right. You see? That's a quality right there. But some, not all, but some trans people will try to bully and cancel others who don't believe in their ideology. Exactly. Like trans people should be allowed in all sports. Really? No exceptions? You can identify as whatever you want and compete for money or scholarships? What if Conor McGregor identifies as paraplegic and starts beating the downs out of someone in the Special <laughs> Olympics? Is that okay? How does Billy supposed to tap out when he can't move his hands? They don't tell me Conor's not paralyzed. He's got CTE. He's basically a Pop-Tart. Look, all I'm saying is we gotta have some sort of middle Ground. You can't just identify as whatever you want and compete against people who are at your disadvantage. You trans people you need to relax. Because your life is going to have a bunch of challenges I will never face. I'm a white male. Every time I get pulled over, I get treated fairly, and I can pee while standing up. What more could a person want? So try your best not to let other people's ignorance upset you. Because the only way you can beat hate is with love. Your dirty, dirty love. Number nine, loud children. <laughs> if a child Slap is screaming in public and their parent is ignoring them, then you should be allowed to that child. No. Nope. I mean, hey, hold up a second now. Let's be honest. There's a lot of y'all parents out there that be ignoring that some of y'all kids are loud as hell when it comes to being in a supermarket or in a restaurant or somewhere. Now, I'm not saying it's right to go hit a random. All I'm, but like he's saying, if y'all ain't gonna, if y'all ain't gonna discipline your own kid, then we, sh then as a person who's just watching, if you ain't gonna discipline your kid, somebody else should. And that's not to say take your child away and such, but they just gotta smack you up. I'm just saying. I know it's, and look, you can say it's wrong all you want. At the end of the day, if you ain't gonna do something about it. What you want us to do? Just stand around and I, I can make it just happen and such? No. You gotta do something about it. Children. If a child is screaming in public and their parent is ignoring them, then you should be allowed to that child. No one gets slapped in the face and doesn't immediately change their behavior. It's like a wake-up call in life. It just because you didn't pull out seven years ago doesn't mean everyone in Target should suffer. Sure, exactly. no means no, but definitely means no. <laughs> so if babies be crying, my hands be a-flying. Hey, yo. Ten. Why are we giving Spaghetti Legs over here special treatment? He doesn't need a seat at the movie theater. He brought his own. <laughs> Disabled people are constantly being given a free ride. They get government handouts, discount on lap dances, and prime parking. When's the last time you saw stilts at a rock climbing gym? Do hmm? you think it's gonna go back to the scene of the accident? And grocery stores are the worst. I gotta park half a mile away because Jimmy failed at skiing. Ugh, I'm tired of giving handouts to people who can't catch us. You know, I don't wanna hear how tough your life is. My dad used to beat me every time the microwave went off. Now I have a panic attack every time I smell a hot pocket. Where's my disability check? Hmm? You think I could work at Papa John's without having a flashback? 
Have mercy, Papa. Yeah, I get you. that your life is tough, but we've all had a tough life. Yeah, okay? So stop making tier lists of who had the most trauma. The only thing you Hey. He ain't wrong. Let's be honest. Let's straight up be honest. Hold on, let me try. Back to turn. There we go. But let's be look. With all due look. For all the people out there with disability, I ain't saying I not feeling bad for you because in a way I am but what I am saying is and if you are those type of egotistical people with the disability at the end of the day you ain't the only person in the world that's dealing with something that's bad granted you are in the predicament that you are and trust me they, they will feel bad for you but not to the point where you deserve everything in the world. Because let's be honest, even with your disability, not everybody deserves certain things in the world. So, I'm just saying. Because, you know, because, in a way, that feels like you're entitled, it, entitled, it, entitled to it just because you have a disability. If, if I were to have a disability, I'm not saying you got to treat me different or any I want you to treat me different or anything straight up because that would mean like I'm entitled to it or people with, and even if people and even if I know I'm not trying to say I'm entitled to this or so other people will because let's be honest a lot of times people be thinking about certain things in their head where when you when they see somebody even if it's not disability or whatever they may think like oh he just getting it because he's entitled to it or whatnot Knowing, even though you know to yourself, it's not about if you're entitled to it or not. Is it? It's because you worked for it and such, and you don't want to be treated different like anybody else. But you might get treated different just because of certain things. But at the end of the day, hey, as long as you treat people with respect and you, they treat you with respect, that's all I care about. Whether you have a disability or not. Simple as that. That's how I look at it. Without having a flashback? Have mercy, Papa. I get that your life is tough, but we've all had a tough life, okay? So stop making tier lists of who had the most trauma. The only thing you should care about is how to monetize your crippled body. And there are plenty of options. Cooking shows, hammer time, jumping over the school pool. Sure, they all sound dangerous, but remember, you can't get paralyzed twice. And gaining attention will only help you with the ladies. Take a look at the fish Gimpy caught. Sure, she's not a 10, but that's a fixable ah. face. And he trapped this bass all while never wiping his ass? He said, why be disabled in mope when I could be feeling her throat? <laughs> Bonus category, women should be allowed to be topless. Tits make people happy. It's a fact. No one sees a pair of fun bags and isn't instantly in a better mood. So sure. why are women forced to hide them? Because men sexualize them? Them? Well, so do women. You're telling me there wasn't exactly a like how that's what I'm saying. That's what I was completely saying before. You talking about men sexualizing shit? Y'all women be the same ones doing the shit. How are we the ones sexualizing it when y'all be the ones who's actually doing it? Who's really more sexualizing the per? Who's really the more sexualizer? Us men who looking at it. Or the women's who are actually shaking it. Not to say I ain't... Look. Hey, I appreciate good booty when I see it. But if you're doing... But the thing is, if you're doing it all the freaking time. At that point, you're sexualizing yourself. I ain't the one who is sexualizing you. You're the one who's doing it all the time. I'm just somebody who would look at it. So, really... It be some of y'all women out there who's and hell, y'all talk about sexualizing y'all motherfuckers. Some of y'all ladies out there, y'all go y'all drool over us, sir. Y'all go head over heels for a certain guy too when it comes to their body, when they got the muscles and whatnot and such. So you can't say we're sexualizing if y'all are doing the exact same thing too. We, we both sexualize each other. Topless. Tits make people happy. It's a fact. No one sees a pair of fun bags and isn't instantly in a better mood. So why Max. are women forced to hide them? Because men sexualize them? Well, so do women. You're telling me there wasn't water flowing when Steve Rogers came out of that pod? And to me, there's no such thing as bad tits. You can have an old, wrinkled pair of flapjacks, and I'd still like to see those pendulums swing. <laughs> That's crazy. 
So those are 10 ways to fix America. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, vegans love vegetables. <laughs> If you're blind, you don't need a dog to avoid traffic. You need to walk towards traffic. Why are we giving Meals on Wheels a head start when he comes with a built-in shopping cart? <laughs> Deer are part of the ecosystem. Of what? Killing families after soccer practice? Every flight of stairs is like a boss, preventing you from getting to the next level. Yeah. Why are we giving them housing? All they need is a used pair of Crocs and a Roman Reigns action figure. Yeah. Stop being disabled and sad and start being rich and bad. <laughs> Why do they get all the perks while I'm doing the legwork? Oh, but Deer are so cute. Yeah, when I push him downstairs, or as it's called in Texas, she slipped. Imagine if you could beat the chromosome out of someone, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Damn. No. Mm, you know. Yeah, shout out. Hey, shout out to offending everybody, always coming in with the freaking smoke and such. But hey. Y'all let me know what y'all takes are on those are in the comments below because I guarantee you, y'all probably going to have a, f some of y'all probably going to have a field day with these types of shits. But hey, maybe those are ways to fix out. Look, I ain't really taking it that serious, but it is what it is. But either way, shout out to offending everybody, offending everybody. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out and like I said before in many in other reactions you see that donation sticker right there if you want me to react to anything of your choice hit me up on my cash app at Humble Ziggy five dollars for reaction request reaction suggestion by you guys or ten dollars for like a music reaction so you can tell me which music you want me to react to but either way been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.